What's going on guys? So, a uh, bit of an impromptu video. We uh, actually have a 2018 Mustang right over there and I'm taking it for a test drive. Um, the guys over Battlefield Ford, um, Greg, super cool guy, was willing to let me take it out and uh, I picked up my wonderful wife, Melissa, to come along for the ride to see what she thinks about the car and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what all the hype is about and see if it lives up to it or not. Um, it is the 2018, it's got the Magna Ride performance pack. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna have Melissa start it up so you guys can hear the car. That sounds good for a stock Mustang. This does not have the active exhaust on it from what I understand. Seriously? What is that, Ford? Maybe there's a way of bypassing it, but it's letting it's stopping her at 3,000. I guess that's all you get to hear. Sounds good, though. Yeah, so 2018 Mustang. Oh, yeah, she's looking at the, uh, the pony on the ground. Super cool. How do you like the look of it, though, with the performance pack spoiler and stuff? I like the spoiler. Yeah, I think it looks pretty pretty good. Um, I think it looks better than the 15s did when they came out stock. Man, you really can't see anything right now. It's so hard. But yeah, we've got the deck lid spoiler on here. Battlefield 4, check them out. Greg, nice guy. Willing to let me take it for a spin. And uh, he wasn't worried about being in the car 24-7. So that's really cool. Start head driving. Um, as far as the clutch goes, it's actually pretty light. It took me a little bit of getting used to, just because I'm used to mine being the stage two clutch. I actually don't mind it. Um, I wish there was a little bit more feedback from it. It's a nice tire. They're 275s on the performance pack, which is really good for a stock car. That's why you buy a Mustang, because they do it right. At least now. Uh, God. Oh my God. Very well planted, right? I hope that wasn't a cop behind us. Uh, what are they going to do? Pull me over? Sorry, I'm test driving a vehicle. True. Alright, track mode. And then hold OK to initialize. Initializing. To engage firmly a pipe, brake and hold. Engage, press OK to begin. Line lock, not available, C manual. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> they probably don't allow it on this. There's like an option you have to like unlock or something. Maybe. Maybe there's a, a unlock the car before. Sad face. Oh. Well, we tried. <laughs> Alright, so we're actually at the gas station real quick because we've got like one mile to empty or something. So I'm going to throw like a touch of gas in this so that it's not, we don't run out. Um, but yeah, so far, actually, you can actually see the car now under the light. So it's got the quad exhaust. All right. And then the performance back wheels, 275s on the rear, 255s on the front. Definitely that lower front end on the hood. But so far, from a stock perspective, I actually am really impressed with this car. So, let's throw some gas in it. I'm pretty sure this is the first time this car has ever been filled up except for the factory. No, I'm not filling it up. And of course, Melissa ran to the bathroom, so we're waiting for her to come back, and we're gonna hit it. Let me just show you a little bit more of the interior real quick while we're, uh, while we're waiting. So, this actually has Alcantara suede insert on the seats. So it's really nice. As far as the leather seats go, the bolstering feels really good for a stock seat. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. And you do have the Alcantara suede on the door insert here as well. With the carbon fiber dash trim. Do you think the interior looks nice? Yeah. Yeah. I'm thoroughly impressed with the interior so far on this thing. Let's uh, go do a pull. I have it in track mode, so just know that the wheels probably will spin some. If I hit it from first gear, you know? You're gonna like 
pull. You're not gonna hit it like right away. You're gonna straighten. No, no, no I'm gonna straighten out. Listen, Brian. I'm not the average Mustang driver. You ready? No. No. Okay. Hang on. Ooh. Whoa. It's kind of rough. It's the salt on the roads. Oh. oh wow. How? Oh wow, what? I didn't think we were going that fast because that was not even the top of third gear. You got to remember my third gear in my car is like 80, 90. So what are you saying? This car's faster than your car? No. <laughs> I'm just but kidding. It's, this is really quick for a stock car. That's okay. funny. I think, wow. I think you're done playing. You need to take this car back. No, we are taking it back. But I mean, this is very impressive. I'm actually very impressed with this car. Two thumbs up. I guess to wrap up, everyone, you know, has been overhyping this car, and I gotta say, I'm actually thoroughly impressed with this car. I mean, what do you think? It's very nice. Like I said, I don't think the hype is um, fully unnecessary. It's actually pretty impressive. So, if you're in the market for a 2018 Mustang, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's definitely worth it. I know one of the big issues that people have with this car is the new price point. It's a little high. I mean, this one I think is 47 or something like that. 47,000. Um, so it's basically like 10,000 more expensive than mine when we were new. But you're also getting significantly nicer. Um, yeah, I mean, you're getting so much more with the Magnaride information entertainment system. Yeah, this car is very impressive. So, all in all, I like it. Another thing I don't think I pointed out, it actually has like a little carbon fiber shift knob, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the cup holders, um, they're still not perfect. I mean, I don't think they'll ever really find a perfect spot for the cup holders in this car, but they are better because on mine, I have to be on top of them. You have a little bit of space to the side, similar to the 15 to 17s, because the interior for the most part's the same, to my understanding. But overall, I mean, we all agree that the 15 to 17 interior is a lot nicer than the 11 to 14. So. All in all, really like the car. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was very impromptu. I didn't know this was going to be happening. So I was like, I took the opportunity and I was like, let's run with it. We'll do a 2018 Mustang review real quick. Why not? Hopefully we'll be able to make another video on the automatic and so we can kind of compare the two. Um, and we'll have Melissa driving more then. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully it was a little bit informative. If you're interested in the 2018 Mustang, hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you want to stay up to date with what I got going on on my 2012. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> All right, so just got back over to um, Quick Lane, and I was talking to John. He was telling me, uh, you said, what, 500 miles? The the line lock it won't let you do it until it's got like 500 miles on it because I guess they don't want you to um to like break anything too soon or whatever so that's why we weren't able to line lock I was like no so sorry I wasn't able to do it for you guys but um, nonetheless good to know so if you're getting a new new one you have to wait until like 500 miles so FYI.